everybody. Welcome. I'm Lisa and you are watching my channel, The One Lisa Show. To, I have little, I'm noticing I have these little like circles over my glasses. So forgive me if you see those. Oh, hey, of course. As soon as I do my intro, she's right here. Hi, Penny. <laughs> How you doing? You doing good? Well, I'm going to talk about this shirt. Today I'm talking about this shirt I made. I'm going to do a review on an older pattern, but some of you might have it. Some of you might have made it. It is the new look 6197. I'm wearing it. I made it out of a quilting cotton from Joann's, and it is Halloween themed with cat skeletons and the little Day of the Dead uh, faces on it. Well... <laughs> She is my Ed McMahon, isn't she? <laughs> Get out of that garbage. Okay. I am wearing this shirt. Will I get this review done? She was happy in the other room, playing with her toys, just laying around doing her own thing. As soon as I do this, boom. All right. <clears throat> Let's start with this pattern. <laughs> This is New Look 91, I'm sorry, New Look 6197. I'm going to put this up because, of course, as soon as I made this blouse, I've been looking for this blouse pattern for a while at my Joann's. Hadn't seen it in like a year. Went to Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago, and of course, they had this pattern. So I did get it from Hobby Lobby, and it is a simple camp style shirt for men and women. There's different variations, and the men's variation is up here. It has front pockets, and the, the backs are very similar. The women's is more fitted. It has bust starts, and it comes in a sleeveless version or a sleeved version. Yep. And you can go with, they do have pockets, so you could do a one pocket or two pockets, which shows better here. Now let's talk about the sizing on this pattern isn't the best. I actually only heard about this pattern watching Kim Gaddy sews. She made this for herself, and I think she made one for her husband as well. And it seemed like a good pattern. She gave it a good review. I'm going to give it a, a good review as well with ca a caveat to it or exceptions to this pattern. The sizing for the men's version A is extra small to extra large. I'm going to read from my notes now, extra small to extra large, which is a chest measurement of 30 to 48 inches. There is a lot of ease in this pattern. It has a finished measurement of 40 to 56 inches for the chest for the men's version. The misses, which is also in the same envelope, size 8 to 18. With that, that is the equivalent of a bust 31 and a half to 40 inches. The finished chest measurement of the the garment is 38 and a half to 47. So as you see, there's seven inches of ease built into this, the chest measurement of this pattern. Knowing that, I decided to make a size 16. The 16 is for a 38 bust, 30 waist, and 40 hip. Mind you, my full bust is 40 a 34 waist, and a 44 hip. So I actually sized down. So the things I don't like about this pattern could be from me sizing down, but in actuality, considering I have a 34 waist and a 44 hip, I probably should have been a size 20 or on the verge of the biggest size, which is 18. So pattern inclusivity for size range this is an awful one even I think for the men's to have extra large is just 48 inch chest I think that is still kind of small I think they should have offered bigger sizes I thought because of the ease in the chest measurement of the finished garment I thought for sure I would be fine and to be honest with you look at this it is still very boxy and roomy and I sized down I'm going to take this off in a minute and sh be able to show you things. But one of the things that I don't like about this shirt, and I'm saying it, is, and part of it could be my fault because I sized down, is this arm side, the armhole, it 
this is where the seam is right here, how it lies on me. So I feel like this is okay because it is a camp style shirt. It's supposed to be a looser fit. So the seam here is right at like that diagonal. The under bit is touching my skin. It's touching my skin, so it's just too tight. Now, could that be because I did a smaller size? I did a 16. I don't know. I'm debating. This is a seasonal shirt. So I'm debating if I want to go through the trouble of unpicking all of this and cutting out a little more out of the shirt and using more of my seam allowance or having to redraft new sleeves to give it a little more room so it's not up in my armpit because that's what's happening right now. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Let me move this back a little bit. Okay. I'm not a fan of feeling the fabric I'm in my armpit. It means it's too tight. But as you see, this is pretty roomy and boxy. So I think it could be a little bit of I did a big, a uh, smaller size, but at the same time, this would have been even boxier if I uh, didn't grade it right after the sleeves, the arm size, but then this would have come out long, probably further out too, because that's what tends to happen. So I'm not 100% on that. I don't think I'll wear, I'll make these to wear normal when I have the Deer and Dome Melliot blouse that I really enjoy, I'm marking, working on my third one of those. And then I have a Gertie pattern that is more similar to this. Uh, with I could put in a different sleeve on hers if I wanted it. But it is more fitted and that's kind of what I like. I do like the more fitted shirts. It's a camp style shirt. So it has a notched collar. And there are no, there's no collar stand. And I'll show you more of that when I take this off. And then the women's version does have bust darts. I put one pocket over my left chest. You can't really tell with this print because it is a kind of a busy print, but there is a chest pocket here. That was enjoyable. I'm going to change and I'll be right back so I can hand sh show you some more things about this and fiddle with it. So this will be easier now for me to show you some things. The pattern calls for five buttons. I used seven. Um, you can't even really see all my buttons, can you? Because I did black buttons. They also tell you to cut one yoke. And I'm going to show you the back really quick here. Again, it's probably hard to see because I have, it's a busy print and it's a dark print on top of it. It's a black background. There is a nice box pleat right here. And then you have a back yoke piece. And the back yoke piece does come up over the shoulder. So here is where the back yoke comes to. I cut two yokes because I like in case seams and I don't understand the point of doing a yoke on the back and then have all those raw edges. So I I say I like in case seams, but I did not French seam anything. <laughs> I did use my serger on everything, but I have white thread, so it's not very easy. But there, so you could tell I serged everything on the inside. So I cut a second yoke piece out of a contrasting scrap fabric that I had. What I did do is I used the burrito method to encase all my seams for that, and I also put a little label on, which is makes it a little more fun. The collar. Now I'm going to take it out of the hanger. It is no collar stand. You do have your inside piece here for your notched collar. I have made shirts with no collar stand with the notched collar. I have made shirts. My Carolyn pajamas from Closet Core are similar instruction wise. Well, similar, it's a similar pattern. I should have used the Ka Carolyn Pajamas instructions because I had a hard time with the instructions on this pattern when it came to the collar. Everything else I, I got easy peasy because I feel like I've made enough, but
button down shirts at this point where I felt good about it, the darts, everything. However, the collar was tricky for me. If I made another one of these, which I would have to adjust that arm hole for myself, but if I made another one of these, I think I would just refer back to the classic core instructions and they had a blog post that really has a lot of pictures and shows how how it's done. In my case, I had a hard time with it, so I hand-stitched the opening here. And you can see where I did some stay stitching. is showable. Oh, well, it's okay. Um, this is all hand-stitched, my inside collar. Part of that could just be I need more practice with my stitch in the ditch or edge stitching. Uh, but I just had a really tough time getting the collar seams inside to lay right. Oh, I'm still happy with how this turned out. It looks good on the hanger. It looks good on me. I feel it, it just doesn't feel as good as it looks. I, especially because I talk with my hands. It's a boxy fit shirt, so knowing that everything else is looser, it's more noticeable that the armholes for me are tight. But again, part of that could be I should have done this part a size 18, which is the largest size, and then graded in for the remainder. And I knew it was going to be a loose-fitting shirt coming into it, and I'm fine with how it feels. That's why I was really happy with sizing down to the 16. I still feel it's very roomy at the 16. To actually insert a picture of me wearing it so you can get a full on of what it looks like on me. I, I would like to make the men's version. I don't know if the men's version will even, it should fit Big Daddy. It should fit Big Daddy, but I don't know for sure. I don't know his chest measurement. I'm actually curious about the men's version for myself as well. According to this, I would be the medium men's based on my chest measurement. However, I th there we go again. I might make this small. We'll see. We'll see. I probably would m use some scrap fabric and test it out before I would do it in another fun print. And even though this is just a cotton fabric and it's just from Joann's, Yardage adds up and it can cost money. So using scraps, I think it would probably be the way to go for the first, the next time I want to verge into making this pattern again. I did enjoy the sew. I do like making button down blouses for myself. If you haven't figured that out already, I like that. And I also like making t-shirts. I just don't necessarily think I would reach for this pattern often. One other detail I didn't show is I used bias binding for my hem because it does, the female version does have a curved hem and I just think that it turns out better if you use biased binding or bias tape, whatever you want to call it. I think it looks nicer, so that's what I did. It's easier for me to keep the curve looking even if I use bias tape and that was just simple stuff bought from the from the store. I hope this review has been helpful. Since I bought this pattern, I have not been able to find it on the new look or the simplicity website. Go figure. By the time I get around to making it, it's off the site. But if you have this pattern or you see it on Amazon, which I think it's still available on Amazon, so I'll put a link to this pattern. It's not bad. I just think it needs tweaks for, for my body. Now, I, I do have thicker arms. I will say that. You can see I do have thicker arms. But it that's where could it be I should have done a bigger size there. And then if I didn't want it so boxy, kind of graded down. I don't know. I am curious about the men's version. However, I'm not jumping at the bit to make it right away because there's so many other things I want to make. I hope you found this review useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Or if you have questions, feel free to put a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has inspired you to do something creative today or maybe try something that's a little out of the box for you. 
Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.